What's going on, everybody? It's Bay Dating Coach Elliot Scott, and as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about five things that men are scanning for on a first date. If you have all these things, you're definitely going to get a second date. You're probably going to get multiple dates. If you have a couple of these, depending on what they are, you might get a second date. If you are just missing the mark, okay, you ain't getting any dates. You ain't getting any dates, okay? And I wanted to make this video because a lot of women will come to me and say, well, I lose it at the third date point, or I don't get second dates. Well, here's what guys are looking for on the first date, okay? So, number one, this is the most superficial cliche of them all, but I got to say it because it's very true. Uh, you don't look like your profile pictures. Ladies, if you do not look better than your profile pictures, okay, you're, on, you're pretty much out. I hate to say that, but you're pretty much out. If you do not look, that's like me, oh, it, it's almost, well, I don't know, I'm trying to use a good analogy. It's like, you know, you see a McDonald's cheeseburger on the, on the commercial, and it looks good in the commercial, and then you open it, and the ketchup's not even on the, uh, in, on the thing, it's, on, it's all over the fucking paper. You're like, I mean, yeah, I'm still going to eat it. It's a, it's a McDonald's cheeseburger. I mean, fuck. I'm still going to eat it, but uh, I don't know. This isn't how I wanted my burger, okay? Guys think the same thing with profile pictures. If you look just as good, if not better, you're in. Awesome. Good start. If you don't look as good because you're either using older pictures or you gained some weight or you did that, whatever, um, maybe a hair color that doesn't look as flattering on you, whatever it is, okay, um, yeah, it's that that's a go that's a horrible first impression of first impressions for the first dates. Number two is what I call IOIs, indicators of interest. A man wants and he's going to scan constantly um, to find where or how interested you are in him. So a good way to control this, ladies, is um, I always tell, you have to think of it like test. I don't like saying men test women because I think the way I mean it is different than how you, you know you convey it. But there is a difference between you standing out here, okay, and then you know you this close to me and I'm in your bubble. If you don't pull away, that's an IOI, right? You're, you're, it indicates to me that you're, there's some type of interest because you just don't let anyone in your bubble. Um, my hand on your upper back versus your lower back. If you know, again, you're not just gonna let anyone's hand on your lower back. Um, but if we're having a good time, you're laughing at everything I'm saying, and I want to test it. Okay, maybe I close the proximity and see how you react. Maybe I put my hand on your middle back and see how you react. Lower back, react. Um, you know, guys going in for a kiss um, and seeing how you react. It's all reactionary. It's what you allow and it's what you show to a man that indicates there is some type of interest. A man is constantly going to be looking at these things. So you playing with your hair, you leaning forward, the types of questions you ask, you laughing at everything. And there's nothing wrong with showing these, by the way, ladies, depending on what they what they are. Because I can get into a whole other thing now with this and framing, because IOIs are kind of a thing, a concept of, of framing, which is a completely different concept. But it says something differently if my hand is on your upper back versus your lower back, right? The frame of that is, okay, well, it's a little more um, intense. It's a little more intimate. It's a little more sexualized than having it on, you know, on your shoulder saying, hey, good job, buddy, right? Um, so depending on what things you control, you know, it shows a lot. If, if you're letting him get like rub the inside of your thigh on the first date, well, then he knows he fucking has you. Hand on the lower back, that, that's up to you. But, you know, I don't think a guy is thinking like, oh, man, I got it in with that kind of stuff. So it's not bad to show IOIs depending on what they are. You actually do want to do it as long as he's doing it also. Um, like I said, there's always a give and take. If he's funny, you know, um, for example, if he's funny, then you need to congratulate that by laughing. Don't like hold it in. Like what kind of fucking woman is that shit? You know, or if he's a cute guy and you like him and he's this close, like 
again, unless you're uncomfortable with it, like don't be like, oh, stop, you know, it's too fast. He's not trying things, just right here, like talking to you, okay? Um, like let, if you want it to happen and you like him and you're interested, let it fucking happen. You know, just don't sleep with him at the end of the date, okay? So that's number two. And by the way, ladies, if you're liking everything I'm saying and you want to know male dating psychology, what men like, what men commit to, all that type of stuff, please get my guide. This, I actually printed it out, ladies. It is no joke. This thing is no joke. It has so many things for, it, it, it's, it's, it's crazy. So many things for you here. It, it, just all the information you need on dating and, and what men want and all that kind of stuff is right here. It's literally right here, okay? So if you're interested in that, it's absolutely free. Link's down below. Um, yeah, just make sure to get it. Number three, this is really important. Uh, you know, a lot of women, I always tell women looks matter so much on a first date, but I would have women come to me and say, what are the three things I need to work on? And one of the things is looks. But the other thing I always tell women is, um, if you really want to win a date, right? Win a first date, it's three things. You look really fucking good, okay? Um, don't F up, it's like yours to lose. It's a first impression. The, the context isn't created. He's not feeling pressure from a relationship. He's not seeing the crazy side or clingy side if you have one. He's not seeing, you know, the game, like none of that. It's just two people interacting, so it's yours to lose. And then this thing, I, and I always tell women this, it's so important that you have to keep up, meaning you have, men love quick wit. Men love women with that banter, those, those zingers, who's able to come back and, you know, hit him with a one-liner. He's like, oh shit, okay. Like, you know, she just doesn't roll over and it's like, um, you, you're mean, and you're mean, you know, huh? you know, like none of that shit. She has like really good quick one-liners. Guys love that shit. If you can do that and keep up with him or his friends, or not that you're with his friends on the first date, but just in general, um, guys find that very, very, very sexy. It's, it, 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 it portrays confidence. Number four, this kind of goes with number two in the IOIs, but he wants to kind of see where he stands with you. Um, and he will find that with IOIs. But usually when people, from my experience of clients come to me, uh, coming to me, like a lot of you guys are talking to a dude for a bit before the first date, right? So like a week, two weeks, and then you finally go on the first date. If you guys are interacting daily on that and texting daily, and maybe even been on the phone, he knows you're interested. And there's nothing wrong with that, and but you should know he's interested too. And there's going to be a, this is where the game is played. I hate saying game, but this is where the game is played, where a lot of, of stuff you guys do is validation seeking behavior. He's going to try to see where he stands with you and vice versa. You're going to try to see where you stand with him. And sometimes what that looks like is, again, playing the game, not hard to get, but like not wanting to give up position, not wanting to give up power, but don't do that. Just have fun. Just have fun. You need to play. This is why I tell women to work with me. You need to play the long game. This is just a frame. Okay. This is just a frame and there's nothing wrong with showing a guy that, you know, you're interested in him. Like I said, how's that, what does that look like? It's a lot of the laughing, laughing, the leaning forward, the playing with the hair, um, the, the, the type of questions you ask him, um, you know, you're looking like you're having a good time. So obviously you want to do these things. You don't want to not laugh. You don't want to not ask cool questions. You don't want to look like you're having a bad time, but he is going to try to see where he stands. He is going to ask you questions. He is going to flirt. He is going to try all these type of things and see if you go along with it. And then lastly, you ain't going to like this ladies, but at the end of the day or throughout the day, he's going to find out what category he's going to put you in. I always say there's three categories. There's friends, there's fr like friend zone, friends of benefits, girl for material. And then there's like this fourth subcategory, which is I like you, you're hot, you're cool, you're fun, but not enough to take myself off the market and give up all these other women, which is where a lot of women fall. But like I said, if you're talking to a guy who actually wants a relationship, that's the first thing you need to do, figure out if that's what he actually wants. Again, he could lie to you, yeah, but you still want him to say, I am looking for a relationship. Not, let's see where it goes, let's see what happens, I just gotta have something, but you know, if the right girl comes along, short, no, none of that. He has to say, I'm looking for a relationship, I'm looking to settle down, okay? That's the first thing. But if you find a guy who is looking to settle down and wanting a relationship, and you have all five of these things, you're at a good start. I would assume 
if the date went well and you have all five of these things you feel, um, now again, you can't ask them, but if you feel you have them, then you're probably going to be in the, uh, you're leaning more towards the girlfriend stuff. If you have a lot of these things, but you don't look like your pictures, okay, you're friends with benefits. You're in the friends with benefits. If you miss a lot of these and you just doesn't feel the sexual attraction, you're probably in the friend zone. And then lastly, if you're in the, uh, I like you a lot, but not enough to drop myself off or take myself off the market, it's, you might have a, a variety of these things, but not all of them, or at least not as much of them as he would like. So for example, um, you know, you might look cute, but you know, you're not like, oh my God, like she's gorgeous. And I don't mean that in a, and I don't mean that in a, uh, like you have to look like a model. Absolutely not. But what I'm saying is let's say you don't look like your pictures, but you're not bad. It's like, okay. But then on top of that, let's say, um, you know, you're fun to talk to, but it's not something I see myself long-term with. Like I want my wife like this, you know, like you don't have those dingers. You don't have that quick wit and stuff like that. So, and, and by the way, when I say all this, ladies, you don't, um, don't, a lot of women at me with this shit and say, you know, Elliot makes it seem like the guys are the prize. No, they're not. He should be doing, if I was a dating coach for men, I'd be saying these exact things. I'd be like, bro, you need to make the date. You need to plan it. You need to pay. You need to do blah, blah, blah consistency. You need to ask her some, some deep questions to get to know her and all, because women love that shit. Women love all the C's. Cock, consistency, Clarity, closure, commitment. Just give a woman all the fucking C's and she'll be happy. Okay? I tell I tell men that all the time. Um, but if I was a dating coach, I'd be telling every dude that who comes to me. So don't think I'm just I'm an advocate for like you need to change yourself for a man. No, of course not. But but if you want to get my guide, which horrible horrible uh, transition here. If you want to get my guide that tells you um what men are looking for, what men like, or just basically male dating psychology, like what draws men in, make them be like, holy shit, this woman, okay? Then please check out my guide down below. Absolutely free, 100% free, okay? That being said, ladies, I love you all. Take care and peace.